Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make some Parmesan roasted Brussels sprouts. And um, if you grew up like I did, I didn't, uh, where they just boiled the Brussels sprouts, I didn't like them. But I like how I make them and I make them all different kinds of ways. So sprouts had their Brussels, fresh Brussels sprouts on sale for $1.48 a pound. So I have a pound and a half. And I'm just going to cut the bottom off and just remove the bad little outer leaves. And if they're real big, you can quarter them, but this one's not too big. Cut it like that. So I'm just going to cut it in half, put it in my colander and wash them, and then I'll meet you back. Alright, I have my Brussels sprouts washed. And now this is really not going to be I'm not going to really just measure. I'm going to guesstimate. So I'm going to guesstimate about two tablespoons of olive oil. We just want enough to coat. Give that a light toss. And now the salt and peppers to your taste. And I cook with kosher salt. And now I'm going to sprinkle some adobo because we like it. Maybe a half of a teaspoon. And now I'm going to take some panko breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs. And maybe like, it's maybe like one fourth of a cup. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of paprika on there for the color. And now the Parmesan cheese. I only have the container Parmesan cheese. I think that would do better about burning myself. But um, you can grate up some Parmesan and add it. It's maybe like a fourth of a cup. I'm going to give it a toss to see what it looks like. I'm going to drizzle in just a little bit more olive oil. Just so things will stick to it. We don't want to drown it. I am going to sprinkle on just a little bit more panko, not much. And just a little bit more Parmesan. And remember, when you're uh, cooking, make it your own. Put in what you like to put in. And leave out what you don't like. I'm just going to give this a good toss. Now I have my baking sheet lined with some tin foil to make cleanup easier. And I did spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And if you hear little bells and rustling sounds in the background, that's our new kitty Abigail. You don't really want to crowd your pan. You want to be able to let it spread out good. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees. And we're going to bake these 15, 20 minutes according on the color that you like on them and stuff. And I will give them a toss just one time during cooking. And I'll bring you back when they're ready. Alright, I just took mine out of the oven. I did stir it one time while cooking and mine was in there for around 18 minutes. And it may look burnt on camera, but it's not. It's just real brown and crispy. So I'm going to give them a toss, let them cool for just a few minutes, fix our plate, and then we'll try it. Okay, sorry about that. My camera and my card was full, so I had to stop, load my laptop, and upload and delete and all that. So we have all tried it. We know we like it. We've had it before. But um, we're going to try it again. I like it. It's got a great taste, great flavor. Do you like it, Ricky? Absolutely. Alex? Yes. Alex liked it. And I mean, it just don't taste like that old... Frozen. So anyway, thanks for watching. And remember, when you cook, make it your own. But this is really good. And even if you wanted to chop it up thinner, your Brussels sprouts, because like some of the leaves are going to fall off, but that's like Parmesan cheese, and it's real good. It's not burnt. So anyway, if you give this a try, let me know. Let me know how you cook your Brussels sprouts and if you like it.
and um thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up if you like this video comment i love hearing from you and i'll subscribe and also hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload my next video bye y'all